what's up guys welcome back to another video back at the paint booth obviously you saw yesterday's video with us getting the finished grading done for this big blower cabinet whatever you want to call it but uh this is where we're at today we were able to figure out from the guys over in china the engineers what the formation was with these blowers and what else was there we got the wiring diagram from them whatever you want to call it what do you call it Chris? it's a it's a one line and a pretty pretty weak one at that <laughs> so um we did get some movement from them they're actually in china i found out the engineer over there he's in china i thought he was here because of his name jason or justin so it's a fake name but uh just like chris said yesterday we didn't start getting emails in till about two or sorry eight eight thirty nine last night so i was up late dealing with them but we got to figure it out so that's what we're going to do today get this set in place get that bottom portion of the whatever the basement cut out um, get the top the heat exchanger installed and we got the massive blowers so i don't know if we showed you guys these things yet but this is what we're working with yeah we have three of them so this is the big boy this is just for exhaust uh, we'll show you where that goes in a minute and then these two they're identical to each other um and i don't know if it's for a, like a speed thing you can run like one just one it's on low and two it's on high we'll we'll figure that out but that's kind of what i'm assuming at this point this can circulate the air um or be the fresh air coming into the booth so over here in here we were i was wrong jared was closer to right but neither one of us really knew for sure but the big one goes right here it sits here and it blows air out so what it'll be doing is be grabbing air from down below pulling it through blowing it right out of the booth so this is just just exhaust and that's the big motor that goes right here over here we have both of them that sit right here with the exhaust off the fan the exhaust neck of each one blowing up right here so what it'll do is it'll go up and blow it right into the booth. And we have this louver on the back here. So how it's sitting right now, it'll be sucking air from the bottom of the booth, coming through the fans, blowing right back in. So this is just circulation. Uh, I may be wrong, but I believe this is for when a car is baking. So it's circulating, you're running through the heater, blowing into the booth. When this louver changes direction, it is sucking air from outside in and then right back out and into the booth probably just made you sick as hell <laughs> um but when it's doing that it's bringing fresh air in over there and then where we have the big motor that's sitting right here it'll be pulling that air back out it's about right right that sounds good to me <laughs> sounds so, like that diagram that i sent you last night yeah 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 it's about yeah it's clear as mud so we have some straps we're gonna throw them on uh we're gonna start grabbing these help us kind of arrange them and throw them in place so we're gonna get these these blowers thrown in so you'll be on the time last you'll be able to see all that and then uh as soon as we mess it up we'll be back and we'll let you know what we messed up <laughs> and i think that's it but the fun part is going to be cutting this out down here cutting it out up there i'm sure jared has some ideas on how to do that but yep yeah i yeah. guess all, all, all the ideas yep skill saw <laughs> <laughs> skill saw no, no uh no plasma cutter not that no you don't think no. so not today <laughs> not today not with that styrofoam in there <laughs> the whole thing would catch on fire it would be interesting though <laughs> all right we'll be back All right, guys, blowers are installed. Probably saw with the time lapse. They weren't that bad. No, now that we know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, next thing we gotta do is get this thing, cut this, uh, this basement out down here to where this slips up. All the air is gonna be sucked out of it. And then we'll slide it up to it and then um, and we'll get the burner set up here. Big burner. Big diesel burner. 
And this motor looks like it's a three phase, which we knew. These ones, I don't think so though. Oh God. <laughs> I guess it could be. Or it could not be. That'd be interesting. I'll figure it out. Well, yeah. I'm going to mess with this electrical really quick. I guess you can uh, cut that out. Yep. Are you excited? Nope. Come on, buddy. I hate cutting anything <laughs> while it's sitting horizontal like that. All right, guys. Stay tuned, and we'll get this all put on the time lapse for you. How's it going, Jared? Good. Work to all the blades ripped off this. All, all the, the teeth, teeth on it? Sheared off this blade. So what's the solution to fix that? Don't Milwaukee? buy DeWalt. <laughs> oh, so it's a DeWalt blade <laughs> on a Milwaukee? <laughs> yeah, don't buy DeWalt. Okay, and the solution is? Go grab the Makita one that you recommended. That's right, that's right. Because if you're gonna use power tools, there's only two acceptable ones you can use. Milwaukee and Makita. Yep. DeWalt, Ryobi, oh. <laughs> Don't get me started on Black & Decker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're making progress, popping open that area. As you can see, we left, um, we're not cutting all the way at the bottom because we wanna give somewhere so we can attach it to, to this right here. So we'll attach it as many areas as we can all the way around it. Um, even through here, maybe if we can, just to keep this sealed up really good to the building. So we're gonna go change out this blade and we'll be back. guys we're about to peel out of here we didn't want to break into the next part of doing this uh because it'll probably take more time than we want to allow plus jared probably wants to upload all these videos uh today um but jared what do you got there remy i think she's what seven seven weeks old she, she got to us a little bit early but this is little remy new shop dog day one so, yep, you guys probably saw her in the background of the kennel. She did good today. Yeah, she did good. A lot better than she was doing at home. Jared's been losing some sleep lately. Oh gosh, <laughs> freaking crazy. <laughs> so. But, yeah, so you guys can see, we uh, have these set in place. Um, through the time lapse, you can see where we put the bottom piece in. We, we, we cut out the vent uh, out of the, the basement area, which is what Jared's been calling it, the basement. Uh, it's fitting, so we cut that out. That way, that's the area where the air drags through and up into this. Got it zipped in place. Put the heater up on top, and that's just set into place for now. So tomorrow, we're gonna go through, finish uh, attaching this where it needs to attach. Try to do some of the ducting to go back up into the building, do the other exhaust port over here. I'm gonna bring some electrical stuff to um, start getting the control panel and whatnot hooked up. But all in all, uh, we are making progress. Uh, and, we, and we did a few other things inside, little touch-up pieces we needed to do while we had some of the grates open. But I think that's it for today. Let me face the sun or else you guys can't see anything. But yeah, introduce our new, or Jared's new shop dog here. He brought Roscoe today. There is no blue. She is at home. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any suggestions let us know throw them in the comments if you made it this far into the video there's no excuse for you not to hit the subscribe button so please do and that is it and we'll see you tomorrow